Let's make some Swedish cinnamon buns called kanelbullar. For the cinnamon bun dough you need all-purpose or bread flour, milk, active dry yeast, sugar, butter, cardamom and salt. Warm up your milk to 108 degrees Fahrenheit or 42 degrees Celsius. To make the dough you need a big bowl. Uh, you start by adding your active dry yeast and some milk into the bowl. Add in the rest of the milk, also the cardamom and sugar and some flour to make a slurry. Then you can add the salt because your yeast has activated. Add also one egg that's room temperature. Use of egg is optional for this recipe. Add almost all of your flour into the batter and start kneading your dough with your hands or with a wooden spoon. Add in your butter that's room temperature or just slightly melted. Mix in rest of the flour that you have left, about half a cup. Knead your dough with your hand for about 10 minutes. Do it in the bowl or it might be easier to do it on a flat surface. To know if your dough is kneaded enough, you can tear off a small piece of the dough and stretch it between your fingers. So if it doesn't uh, tear and it stretches without breaking, making a kind of window pane, then you know it's done and you can let the dough rest. So the bun dough loves to be in a warm and moist place. Cover your dough uh, and let it rest for at least 15 minutes up to 30. The easiest way to roll your dough is to do it on an oiled surface. Some people like to use uh, additional flour, but this does make the dough a bit more harder in the final result. Roll your dough to be a rectangle or square shape, uh, about 1 to 2 cm thick. Mix your filling from uh, soft butter, sugar and cinnamon. Spread out the filling thin and even on the dough. Then you just need to roll your dough and cut it to even sized pieces. Place your buns on parchment paper but make sure you leave some space between them. Now your buns need to rise for a second time for at least 30 minutes until they have doubled their size. They like to be warm and moist. It's important that the surface doesn't dry out. So you can cover the buns with a clean cloth or with some plastic wrap. Now you can do your egg wash. Break one egg and add just a pinch of water and give it a whisk. Brush your buns with the egg wash. Then you can sprinkle on top some pearl sugar or almonds. Mm. 
Bake your cinnamon rolls in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius in the middle of the oven. Enjoy with a cup of coffee, tea or milk.